Hi, my name's Rosalind Shimon and you're watching Verge magazine. Today we're with the lovely Rich and Kat. How Hi. are you both? We're great, how are you? Good. Not too bad, not too bad. Better now I'm in the studios. Oh yeah, it's nice in here, it's isn't it? It's a nice atmosphere in here, guys. So obviously you've made it big now, you're absolutely fantastic presenters. Oh, no, yeah. you are, you are. Well, I'll take that. Thanks <laughs> yeah. very much. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> um, how did you make it into the industry? What was your background in? Go on, you start. Uh, I did student radio. That's right. how I got in and then worked at lots of different radio stations around the country and then ended up here um, mm. doing the chart on a Sunday. I used to cover the chart years ago when the, the other presenter was off okay. and then got it full time with, with this this lady here. Oh, so you was already yeah. here then? You no, 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 no. I was um, doing some telly stuff. I did like some late night quiz shows and things like that and I did a few dating shows and then I accidentally got into radio really. Oh, Someone okay. was watching it and then he was on radio and he called me up and it was a bit of a fluke, but it was a, it was a good way in. What is your general day-to-day -day routine? Do you both have the same routine? Or no. How well, does you, it work? You can't take as long as do her hair. Uh, <laughs> than me, That's usually. not That's true. That's not true. No, <laughs> That's I was going to say, look really? Look at this, really? eh? Uh, well, so we get in, what, about half one, two o'clock, yes. something like that. Uh, we're on air at four o'clock, okay. so um, we have our producer, Greg. Say hi, Greg. You can just in the studio. Just Hi. In, the, in the background. <laughs> there. So Greg prepares the show for us and then uh, we present the show for four. And we have a little run through and just make sure that it sounds normal and doesn't sound too much like, you know, we're reading it too much or to put it in our own words, things like that. Mm. Do you have your roast dinners at the desk? No. We miss roast dinners so much. Yeah. We have been out for a few little cheeky ones, yeah. haven't we? And before. roast dinners. Uh, hey. 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 The gags, hey, they're still coming. Hey. <laughs> What advice would you give to students looking to break into the radio industry? Oh, it's student radio really, isn't it? That's yeah. where you went in. Yeah, student radio definitely, and you've just got to keep trying. It's so difficult to get in these days, but if you've got the skill and you've got the dedication to do it, dedication's all you need, apparently. Just keep trying and you'll get <laughs> there in the trying. end. Be yeah. persistent, okay. yeah. So obviously you do the top 40. Um, do you know in advance who's going to win or who's going to be the top? Do you have any We should do it like a winner, shouldn't yeah. we? Yeah. I always think who's we should have win? like a finish line. <laughs> And, the, and they should, don't you think that would be great? I could sure. stand on the end with a flag, like that. that's a flag I'm holding, and just kind of, what, no? And I'll have the full uh, jackets to put around it. Yeah, that would be lovely, wouldn't I it? I know all the technical terms, don't I? <laughs> well, the thing is with the chart, what's really exciting is you never know what's going to happen, so we can never plan the shows ahead because we never know how well the songs are going to do because it's really up to the minute, and so it's quite difficult to predict what's going to be going on with the chart uh, as the yeah. weeks go by. And new guests and things like that, you just don't know who's going to be coming in, you know who's going to go to number one? He even get into the top ten, and then they come in usually mm. to see us, and it's that's always really exciting as well. And you get to meet new people. Like when we first met Rita Ora, that was a really nice experience, wasn't it? Because she was so excited to be really there mean. and oh. so excited to come to the studio. It's when people do their first interviews mm. that's when they're really excited, and it's exciting for you as well. So who's been your best person to interview? I'm um, getting the goss now. I'm quite looking forward to the Saturdays coming in a couple of weeks. Yes, yeah, um, with babies and stuff. I'm going to train you up as a midwife. Uh, that's what I <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> God help the girls. <laughs>